I just came back from uh, three months of flying in Australia. Met some wonderful people, made a lot of good flights. And I'm about to do a little flying here now in my home spot. As you can see, quite a lot of guys in the air already. And after that, we're gonna talk about the fear of flying. Welcome to my channel and this first episode about the fear of flying for pilots. After watching this clip, you'll have a basic understanding of the concept fear in general and more specific fear of flying. My name is Bas van Duin of FlightCoach.nl. I've been flying for 25 years and teaching people how to fly for eight. And it's my mission to help you get more out of life and your flying career. Please note that I made this video and this series of videos with paraglider pilots in mind, but it might just as well apply to hang glider pilots, powered paraglider pilots, or general aviation, or even commercial aviation pilots. Now, when I speak of a fear of flying, I don't mean a little bit increased heart rate, a bit more tension, being on edge, because these things are normal. I'm talking about a debilitating fear, a fear that is so strong that you can only focus on the subject of your fear. Like the big cloud that's gonna suck you up. And people experience the fear of flying in a different intensity. For some people it can be completely debilitating. Some people may just have more stress than is really needed for the situation at hand. And, causing, and this is causing them not to enjoy the flight anymore. And all these different forms are fear of flying but in a different intensity. Now, some people say that fear actually stands for fantasy expectations appearing real, like an acronym, if you will. Well, of course, the word fear was made up long before the acronym fantasy expectations appearing real, but it shows quite beautifully what fear actually is. It is a response to a perceived danger to prevent harm being done to oneself. There are actually two forms of fear. Rational fear and irrational fear. A good example of rational fear is being afraid of lions. When you're hunting zebras in the savanna and there are also lions there, you have to watch out because a lion might eat you. A good example of an irrational fear is the fear of trees. Yes, that actually happens. Some people are afraid of trees. Of course, sometimes paragliders end up in trees. Um, yeah, let's not get carried away. Now, more specifically, the fear of flying. There is an uh, actual term for fear of flying and it's called aerophobia. This is mainly about people flying on an airplane and being very afraid. It comprises of three well, other fears, if you will. The fear of being confined to a small room, also known as claustrophobia, the fear of heights and the fear of dying by crashing. The fear of flying is an irrational fear in this case because statistics show us that uh, air travel is actually a very safe way to travel. Now the symptoms that pilots experience when they're having fear of flying is actually quite similar to the passengers. The difficult thing is making the distinction between the situation being real and the situation being not real. Are you having a rational fear? And should you get out of the location where you're now because you're about to be sucked up by a big cloud? Or are you not in danger at all? And is it an irrational fear? If we look at the statistics, pilots sometimes tend to do get sucked up by clouds. Now finding out whether your fear is rational or not is quite a difficult challenge and an important one as well in dealing with your fear of flying. Of course I got you covered on that one as well. We'll talk about that in a later video. So in the next episode we'll go into more detail about the symptoms of fear of flying and how to recognize them in yourself as well as signs that others have a fear of flying. Don't forget to subscribe if you like my content and press the bell icon so you get notified when I upload the next episode in this series. I'm also very curious about your experiences with the fear of flying. Please leave your comments here down below.